Gary Jarowitz Jr. It's been a little bit since uh, since we've done a C7. Yeah, well, Eric's usually not happy about it, but here we are. Or a couple I don't months. Really give a <laughs> I'd say you got a pretty pretty exciting one too. Huh? I said you got a pretty exciting one too at that. Well, you know what they say: one man's excitement is a another man's dumpster. What? I don't know. The saying goes something like that. He's got the Z07 package and shit. Oh shit. I already noticed that. Yeah, it's pretty serious. It's pretty nice. Silly. Beautiful car. Looks like it is not going to work. But let me regrip and reorganize here. So Eric out there, this is a different tensioner. I don't know what car Eric did, but I can't imagine so. But they're both 16s. Yeah, my taxes are busted my mortgage today. Oh, no chance to build. What? You got that. Well, V's and... Uh... No, no, I'm talking about the red car Eric did. Eric did the same ones. All right, Corvette tech over yeah. here, please. What do you need? <laughs> <laughs> This is the same belt I had. I got for that red car that you did, but that ain't working. Same pulley setup. Yeah. Same upper. I think so. It's a three and a half inch upper. Ninety did millimeters. We were, did we, I don't think we changed uppers on the other car, did we? We might have. No shish kebab sandwiches. What? Where the f is my? Not too shabby, Garble. Garble, that's a new one. Try and keep things interesting around here. I always have something I'm good for. It's gonna rock out. Hey, you! There it is, Eric. There it is. This gas is taking forever to drain. We're gonna keep cleaning this shield until it's perfect. Gas, it's trickling down. You're right there, Garrett. Bird grind. Dirty. That's what that's what your taxes pay for, right there. Dirty roads. Uh, you, you just made me know I'll come out. Yeah, yeah, I'm not screaming so. Solid up. Yeah. This seems like kind of nice. Okay. That's hot. Ow! Beautiful. Matt, I like to think you really knocked this out of the fucking park. Wow. Yeah, that's the nice thing you've ever said to me. Yeah? Put the words right out of my mouth. Yeah, I couldn't have said it better myself. It really is something, isn't it? She's like that. 
<laughs> Excuse me, Garrett. You said how many girls do you give your number to? <laughs> uh, more than as many as it takes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I think it'll make a thousand. What'd the last one do we did? That had a belt motor. The last one had a belt motor. Well, we are going to do to help make those like this in the fucking future. SLAB injectors are 152 pounds an hour. These are 140. Really? Slightly bigger, yeah. They're $25 more each. I had Bill look them up the other day. I wonder why. I guess because. Pumps the bigger, same? Bigger blow. Pumps are the same. Pumps. I think in tank pumps are bigger, but high side pumps are the same. I had to look all that up too. What about all the LT5 shit? I guess that was all the same. LT5 still works because it has port. Yeah, it's port. Yeah, port. I was going to say it's got port to help it out. So. Yeah, so these are like about 10% bigger. That's a good good idea because that thing has a 2650 on it already. Yeah. Without the port. So. Yeah, so they're 152s, these are 140s. So we won't do that on all of them, but like shit, just because it's a couple hundred dollars more in injectors, but on shit like this. I mean, shit on all the LT1 stuff, I would, because you're buying LT4 injectors anyway. Yeah. So like two dollars a piece more. Yeah, 20, it's basically 200 more dollars, 25 dollars. You're going that big. Yeah, fuck it. This will make 10, I'll make it make 11. Really? Oh, you know what? The other one had that big cam in it, though. It seemed to make a difference. I'll say this will make 1075. 1075. Look at that MGW action going on right there. I love the MGW and a C7. Dude, I don't know what has got under this dash. It tore up some insulation. Could have been a critter. God, did you hear that? Hack! Hack! Fucking thing is smooth as butter. Somebody even say smooth as a baby's bum. Alright, Garrett, that's gonna do it for today's progress. Alright. Alright, 2015 C7Z from Miami. I uh, got our full stage five. So, full cam package, got a Maggie 2650, two inch American Racing headers, Rotafab, like the big gulp Rotafab they make for these, uh, our heat exchanger and expansion tank, our low side fuel system, our meth kit, Monster LT1S triple, motion rake source catch can, P3 gauge, and a wide band with that, transportation from Florida. So this thing sh should make, we'll call it 950 plus, to be on the safe side. I'd like it to see a thousand, but we'll call it 950 plus. We gotta adjust the math a little bit. Turn it to like 38 and like 52 or something. I should have made fueling changes after the first pull, but it's only 5,700 miles on it. I didn't even realize that. 2015 with 5,700 miles. This thing's on a stock tire here on the dyno, but the customer said he's got uh, wheels and tires at home because it's going to need them. We just verified fuel pressure and just checking. Let's see what we got. How much power does this guy want? Well, it's on, it's on 17 pounds. Oh, it'll make 900 on pump. Oh, yeah. 
I didn't know if he wants a thousand. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna make a thousand. Yeah. I told him it probably would get stock short pocket. So. I mean, it would if we added a couple more pounds of boost, yeah. but. I think this thing's blowing the tires off yeah, down yeah, low. I VHT'd it already. I guess I need to again. Uh, be back actually Tuesday because it's Labor Day. Labor Day, Memorial Day. I don't know. It's Labor Day. Weekend. Later. All right. Uh, we're back. Memorial Day weekend after Memorial Day. Whatever. We're back. It's Tuesday. Yesterday we were closed. Go pump gas. It was definitely spinning uh, Friday. That's why the torque was so low, like 780 or 70 something. And you can tell it was flat. So I just re-VHT the tires. Probably just got stock tires on them. So I've been trying to warm them up. I've been driving this thing for like 10 minutes. Put more VHT. Uh, we'll see what she does. on the torque department. So 902 power and 834 torque when it was 760 torque Friday. So picked up 75 foot pounds of torque, which is about what I think. Still on 17 pounds. I'm gonna see if I can get a little more out of this on pump because I still got some timing to go. I'll put another degree in it and uh, see if it likes it or not. If it doesn't make like 915, I'll pull the timing out of it. Granted, that was still a cold pull. Still, if it makes nine, if it picks up at least 10, then it's still liking the timing. So we'll go from there. If not, I'll just put uh, throw some meat in it right away. I also might add that it is ridiculous temperatures outside. It's not so bad in the shop right now, but it's supposed to be like 95 to 98 all week. exactly 10 so it's still good so but I'm gonna leave that there I'll pump so 912 uh, 835 we'll throw some E in it and uh, see where we get we'll be back all right we got 36 percent E in it probably gonna need to let it cool after this just because I've been cycling the E around and loading this thing up and it's hot as stuff we'll see what it does here and then uh, I'll let it cool Thirty percent being as hot as it is. AIT twos are 125, so I'll let this thing chill, not for crazy long, maybe 25 minutes or so, um, and then we'll be back. Let this thing cool for like 25 minutes or so. I'm gonna make one more pull. It's almost lunchtime. Uh, I'm gonna make a pull, dump more E in, and then we'll come back after lunch. torque so we'll uh we still got room to go on the high side too so we'll dump more fuel in this thing more e i should say and then uh we'll come back after lunch uh, we added more e it's at like 55 percent right now curious if it's going to be too much for the high side but we'll see we'll let it cool down for like an hour and some change over lunch so you want to put 
VHC, I'm going to put a little fresh VHC down because the tires are probably cold too. Just don't want to waste a cold coal on uh, cold tires. If we can put more timing in it, maybe not. Maybe a degree. I actually took a degree out because with more E, I figured it was going to go. Oh, it's going to add more, which it obviously did. But probably only added another degree, degree and a half, and then I took a degree out. So we'll see. I'll add it back in and we'll see what it does. just because it's warmer now but 961 that's all she's got still pretty stout for 17 pounds you know if we wanted to make over a thousand we could put this thing on 20 pounds but it's still stock short block so we can only go too far but 968 884 torque so killer torque but the good thing about when they're on 17 pounds like this is it'll it'll run cool like it's not way over spinning the blower so it's not going to have you know crazy issues with that but uh this thing's pretty stout uh he should definitely be happy with it especially being in miami it's hot so you don't want to crazy over spin the blower because it's down there it's always hot so this thing should just run perfect down there he does have a set of wheels and tires he told us so that's it pretty stout cool car super clean nice build later all right going for final drive in this uh stage 5 c7z can't really do much but just normally cruise it um, because it does uh, have a stock tire on it which the customer has wheels and tires but they're in Florida it's where the car's from so just taking it for a cruise we got the exhaust closed right now this thing uh, this thing turned out pretty badass it drives awesome too by the way we did a clutch and everything in it transport uh is coming to pick it up later today and deliver it down to him so today's monday so he'll have it uh i don't know maybe tomorrow or the next day i don't know when uh our boy's planning on going there i mean it's probably 18 hours away so tomorrow or the next day he'll have it tuesday or wednesday i wish i could rip on this thing because manuals are fun but i uh it would be completely pointless for me to rip on this thing it sounds so weird with the exhaust closed <laughs> it's like so quiet it literally sounds like like a stock car i'm driving around in right now but we did the p3 gauge so you can see his ethanol content or wide band here but we also did the wide band behind uh the screen here and then we just run the wire from this one over into that one. That way, if he's got his radio up or whatever and wants to see the wide band over here, he can. Um, plus, it's also not like you always need to leave it on ethanol content or whatever. You can put AIT2s over here or whatever he wants and the wide band here. That's why we do them. And plus, these AFX uh, wide bands are the AFR 500s are the cream of the crop there. be fun he is going to enjoy this thing for sure and take it out of stealth mode so we can hear this thing a little bit these 2650s honestly are, are the, the magnuson ones are so nice i feel they're by far the best 2650 on the lt platform um you know, you got the Edelbrocks and the Whipples, but they don't compare to uh, to the Magnuson. The, Ma the Magnuson is, I feel, such a superior blower to them in, in multiple ways. 
The Edelbrocks, we've done them before. They seem to struggle to try and make a thousand. Um, and these things will make a thousand, no, uh, no issue. Like this thing, you know, whatever it made on this car, 970, but it did it on like 17 pounds. So, you know, if we wanted to put this thing on 20 pounds, you know, it would probably make over a thousand, you know, 1,020, 1,030 maybe. But at that point, stock short block, you start to push it, you know, for an extra 50, 60 wheel horsepower. I personally feel it's not really worth it, but that's uh, up to the customer there. perfect driving vehicle for when we give it back but usually it's uh not necessarily i wouldn't say more of the autos but the autos i just like to make sure that they shift they shift good they do what they're they're supposed to do um and everything else this thing sounds good i don't i guess there's a stock cap back on this thing because it still has valves in it but